Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video with your boy, Money Commando. Um, Today, we're back with another reaction video. I know I was late. I'm getting beyond this video. But, I'm back on time, and I'm going to get y'all these three videos done. And then we're going to stream tonight, and we're going to get turned up. But anyways, hip-hop has an age problem with Luista. Let's get into it. Whether it's old heads hating on the new generation of rappers... You nice. Yeah, I'm good. Y'all get to y'all get to like 27, 28, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and y'all niggas get to struggling, and y'all come y'all be trying to come back tell to you find what? that sound. I ain't Crazy, struggle, bro. bro. All right, we're gonna see. Or legends yeah. like Nas and Eminem. Right. Cause Lil Uzi actually then he actually one of the rappers that stay. Not willing to hang up the mic as 50 year olds. Hip hop fans are genuinely concerned about what will happen when the current kings of the genre wow. decide to ride off into the sunset. Crazy. And how will rap survive when the stars that should have been waiting in their wings are far less respected than the rappers who came before them? Right. It's your boy Luesta, and today we're investigating hip hop's age problem. As a okay. genre that thrives on aggression, ambition, and the desire to be the best, veterans have always acknowledged that there would come a time where they would have to make way for the stars of tomorrow. I think that rap in particular is a young man's sport, that I'll move out of that white hot space. But rap is about the gift of discovery. Jay-Z, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? You're talking about rap is a sport. I mean, you do kind of got to compete in rap. You do got to try to outsell the next person. I can see what he's talking about. Okay, Jay-Z, cook up. To be the cool person in you school, you me? have to know the newest music, the newest dance move, have the newest clothing on. Right. So rap is based on that. What's new? With the fame that they cemented for themselves, today's rap legends aren't going to suddenly disappear off the face of the earth. In the perfect world, those who aim to remain relevant would gracefully take a step back and allow the new generation their moment in the spotlight. Crazy, this is something bro. that legends such as Big Daddy Kane, Rock Him, LL Cool J, and other heavyweights did for up and coming rappers in the past. That's However, insane, this bro. certainly wasn't enough for the last generation of hip hop. Instead, we have people like Lil Uzi Vert saying, shout out to all the young rappers. Remember the old must die. Wow. In February of 2018. Lil Uzi, why would you say that, my guy? Now, it shouldn't be surprising Lil this Uzi, was the energy man, they that's were not giving cool. off at the time. Being that veterans like Joe Budden man? were openly criticizing. Y'all know how I feel about this bald ass nigga here, bro. What does he got to say about him? And disrespecting new rappers like Lil Yachty right. in the interview. He has no right, not showing bro. enough respect for the genre's roots. I feel like the new generation is the outcast, but I feel like I'm the... Top outcast. Let me tell you something, right? Now that's interesting. That's bullshit. Even legends He's like Eminem you, Joe, buddy. dropping and calling out tons of new rappers in his songs for being cheap imitations of the greats that came before them. Finger bang, chicken wang. Wait, 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 wait! You're not finna copyright me, man. Luis, so you love to copyright me, man. Pick a name, bro. Rap era began to pop off. Guys like Vince Staples went as far as to express their disgust for rapping past the age of 40, saying that he felt as if his lyrics simply wouldn't resonate with his audience once he's past that age. Definitely Perhaps not. Perhaps it's not what older MCs want to hear. But the history of hip hop continues to reveal that it has a vendetta against rappers past a certain age. You're for not instance, wrong. Back when Soulja Boy and Ice T were beefing back in the day, what was the first thing he did? Well, take a look for yourself. Nigga, Ice T, old as fuck. <laughs> 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 That's not Bro, how old was Soldier right here? In today's game, things couldn't be more different. Not only are many of the icons from the 90s still relevant, but the current right. leading rappers, Drake, Kendrick, and Cole, they all are all on the wrong side yeah, they, of 30. Yeah, they all in their 30s. They all in their 30s, bro. a complete 180 from the rest of rap history, as for so long, no one wanted to hear grown people rapping. Seeing multi-millionaire family men continue to lead the charge goes against everything that we're used to. And strangely, nobody is willing to acknowledge this other than someone like Andre 3000, wow. who stands out as somewhat of an anomaly. Like even now, like people think, oh man, he's just sitting sitting on raps or like he's just holding or holding these raps hostage. Like, hey, I ain't got no raps like that. Like it's, right. it's it actually feels sometimes it feels inauthentic for me to rap because I, I don't have anything to talk about in that way. Like I'm 48 years old and not not damn. To age is a thing this nigga old as shit damn andre you you old man that dictates what you rap about but in a, it's in over a way with it for does. this dude bro. despite a massive outcry he can never make another album new music okay. andre 3000 has been largely absent from the rap game for years now people lose their minds and hope that just maybe his debut solo album would be on the horizon 
But Why would he make another album? He's oh. expressed his issues with rapping as a middle-aged man and finding the inspiration required to do it. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where do I where do I where do I sit? You know, I don't I, I don't even know what I am, and maybe I'm nothing. Right. Maybe I'm not supposed to be anything. Maybe yeah. you know my history yeah, you're just is not meant to do another no more music, Twin. In a way, yeah. And so I'm just trying to find out what makes me feel the best right now. Right. Yes. And what makes me feel the best is when I just do these random kind of instrumental kind of things you know they make me feel they make me feel the most the ra- most rebellious. rebellious this may explain his choice That's to it. make a dedicated flu album rather than something rap oriented but andre has also explained that he's concerned with following the footsteps of many mcs from previous generations who constantly fail with new projects even just the origin of the word um hip hop first you have to be hip and the older you get, you get further away from. Dang, bro! I mean, I'm starting to see now, bro. Hip hop got a huge problem, bro. Once you get old, that's it. And get this weak ass ad off my screen, bro. Before I start talking, don't do this to me, Louis. To don't show starry ass ads like this, man. I don't want this on my fucking screen again, bro. But like I was saying, now I see what he's talking about, bro. You dead ass gotta have a. You gotta be Drake level to still stay relevant. Or J. Cole level. Or even Kendrick. It's really hard staying relevant when you older. Andre 3000 is the perfect example. What's going on, but... Crazy, you know, There's man. always new slang. There's always new rhythms, new patterns, all that kind of stuff. And once you start trying to imitate that thing, I mean, people see it, man. You know, and it, it becomes embarrassing at, at No cap. And, um, and this is just my personal opinion. Like, I, you know, just feel like I, you know, wouldn't have much to offer, you know, to the game after a certain point. For a long time, most rappers would have agreed with Andre. But yet, something strange happened. Not only were rappers unprepared to let go of the fame and fortune, but wow. fans weren't ready to let them hang it up either. Most of all, the lack of replacements was unsettling for both sides. As a result, a major disruption in hip hop's normal functions had been formed, which presents a huge problem only a few short years away. As recently as the mid 2010s, retirement was still considered the inevitable end to a hip hop career. After starting this his retire, career bro. as a teenager, Lil Wayne publicly declared that he'd be hanging up the mic long before he hit 40. Crazy. Um, I always said I ain't want to do this no more after 35. Wow, bro. I ain't want to do it no more after 35. So. And even though his fans on his subreddit claim that they think it's time for him to call it quits, stating that his low energy and health complications are signs that he would be better off just sticking to features, Wayne has proved everything he could and then some. Yeah, I think Lil Wayne, this would have been the perfect example, bro. Like, I'm glad he'd wrap that mic up, man. You feel me? Lil Wayne, you was a rap legend. La 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 No diddy, but that song is legendary, bro. You feel me? So I'm glad Lil Wayne threw that shit away. A whole 13 years after he stated his retirement plan, the 41-year-old Wheezy is still going strong in the game. Hell and nah. even critiqued Andre 3K's view on older rappers as very depressing. I feel like that's why you gotta stay in it though too. I feel like you can't be too far removed. I also thought that I thought that may be a downfall by staying in it because you may at our age, you may hear what's going on and feel like All I'm right. so out of that. That I can't I ain't about to drop nothing. I don't, I don't, mm. I'm not about to <laughs> So you probably so that's why I say I don't listen. Just go in my little hole. It's true to you, though. Yeah, Crazy, just bro. I love what I do. Yeah. Put it out and right. go for swing for the fences, man. To Wayne, he's at a place in his career where he can simply rap for fun, whilst also knowing that there will always be a fan base ready to listen whenever he drops. But it's fair to say that despite his legendary status, Tunchi hasn't been at the top of the game since, at best, the Carter Five back in 2018. Damn. He's more known for his iconic features rather than his own body of work these days. Yeah, the problem yeah. with legends like he's Wayne. He's not that good anymore, bro. Like I said, once you we like 40 my dog nobody listening to that shit sticking no around is that it's taught the big three of modern hip-hop right. that they don't need to make an exit anytime soon for instance back in 2016 drake put the same deadline on his rap career as his young money mentor did which he expressed in songs like western road flows i'm assuming everybody no 
no. I'm just going to read the list for y'all. I'm assuming everybody 35 and under. That's when I play and retire when it's already funded. That's it, bro. We're not getting copyright. Fuck that shit, man. I don't play that copyright. So it's complex that rapping is about being young, doing your thing, and being fly. Before then, alluding to a time when singing rather than spitting would be his focus down the road. It's a direction that I can't wait to go. I mean, I'm really looking forward at some point. Not right now, because I feel like I obviously have a, a couple more rap albums to make. But I'm looking forward to giving you that that moment you know my version of whatever you know like i remember hearing 808s I i'm looking forward to giving you my version of like a wow. full single Singer. record one day that's crazy Drake is bro. now 37 years old and similar to wayne he too went back on his word i know you said on western road flow that you're gonna retire at 35 but is that your reality retiring at 35 um no not anymore okay. i think when i was like 20 something it sounded it sounded better <laughs> <laughs> i just crazy. turned 33 this nigga old as shit too, bro. What's up with all these old folks, man? Dang, the biggest big three is all in their thirties, bro. It's I do have crazy, trouble thinking bro. to myself rapping like past forty. Past Even with 40, one eye bro. on retirement, he can't help but churn out more creativity, as if his work isn't finished. I feel like I'm kind of introducing the concept in my mind of a of a graceful exit. exit type like, shit. It's a really addictive, competitive space. I guess like what's left for me is just to find a way to Shoot. gracefully like continue making projects that are extremely like interesting and hopefully cherished by people and then to find the right time to say like I can't wait to see what the next generation does. I'll still be around to like you know work with people or do a sh do a show. Man, we know there, what you do, Drake. You do a feature, you take their song, and you make the profit. You not slick, my nigga. This is what you mean. You ain't trying to see them around. You're I'm not, not slick, going Drake. to like force myself. Mm -hmm. We know about to that, Drake. Compete. I would love to just see what the next generation um, does. Type shit. Whenever that time is. While Drizzy is in the process of engineering the perfect exit, fans go back and forth in a ruthless debate over the effect of his retirement. While some point to his age as a reason to call it quits, many struggle to accept his departure with the glaring absence of an artist to fill those shoes. Drake can't retire just for music <laughs> sake, and this is gonna make me sound like an old hater, but yep. this is the first time in rap history, in my opinion, that there hasn't been a, a solidified new generation of superstar i mean like I, every little baby was he had that chance but he don't drop had, that there bro the don't biggest drop person good could retire like that because no we more, knew bro. we had this next generation that was solidified now i thought little baby was that and i'm not saying he's not little baby still got a chance bro he can bounce shown back, bro. That it may not be that case off his last album I, there is no this is the first time we won't have a new superstar solidified it could be argued that artists like Drake are holding up the process. For example, when Jack Harlow was tipped to be the next Drizzy, he got him featured oh, on his song, nah. Church Hill Down. Fuck no. Only for the word to say that he got absolutely washed on his own track. Besides that, what incentive does Drake have to quit? Alongside the fact that he's still selling out stadiums, people are constantly Crazy. seeking new music from him. In layman's terms, the Six God has no incentive to back out, and he's not the only one finding himself in this predicament. Following the offseason, Jay Cole, Jay Cole who makes up one third of rap's big three, mapped out exactly what's coming next, with all roads leading to his album The Fall Off, which he hinted at dropping way back in 2018. Much like 3K, Cole's original plans for The Fall Off to be his final album came from self-preservation after he started feeling comfortable. I had lost some of that bite, and I was trying to get that shit back. I'm like, yo, go right. Go write a fire verse, like with bars and boom, boom, wow, and them shit was falling flat. And I was like, "Oh, you lost a step in this regard. Are you comfortable?" And it was like, "Yo," and I had a real talk with myself. I was like, "Yo, bro, you accomplished a lot. That album was, you know what I mean? That shit went crazy. That's that quicksand, nigga. That fell off. Why is he on stage with J Cole, bro? Where is this nigga at, bro? Where is that nigga?" I know y'all see Mariah in that, in that stage, bro. What happened? It's like to yo, that you guy? made it to where you wanted to make it to. This guy's gone, bro. Do you even want to keep going, or do you want to just like chill, go start a family, and like just 
just chill. Like, are you cool? Do you want to retire right now? Despite laying out his exit from hip hop, Cole has been rhyming at the top of his game. It's almost absurd that he was named as Complex's best living rapper in 2023, wow. despite the fact that he didn't even release a project that year. Regardless That's of crazy. where you stand on this accolade, the bottom line is that this should be impossible for a 39 year old to pull off. With the world 39? telling him that he's the best in the business, it's unsurprising that he's not walking back those retirement plans, which became evident on a recent snippet where he rhymed. Yeah, said I. No, was no, no. Yeah, I said I was in, but I won another two summers. Hall of Fame hunger, then then all the newcomers. No copyright, bro. We not getting no damn copyright. For, for the that. legendary Kendrick Lamar. While it seemed like he had moved out of the realm of picking fights, taking a more artistic approach with his album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, K-Dot's recent shots at Cole and Drake are one of the biggest stories in hip hop right now. Wow. With many viewing it as a testament to how fixated the game is on these longstanding idols in a manner that greatly contrasts with our investment into new rappers. Kendrick is here to keep hip hop alive. Hope he stays. We need more. Sure, we're all invested into the drama that came from Kendrick's verse on the song like that. But for Kendrick to be the one to keep hip hop alive, we should be well past the point where that's his responsibility. But at the moment, hip hop's leading artists and their supporters are collectively unable to pave the way for a changing of the guard. Wow. Or at the very least, just don't see where it's supposed to come from. But it just seems like there's a lot of legends that are still around, looking at the Drakes, the Kendricks, the Coles, the Kanye Wests, the Tyler, the Creators, the Nas's, the Nas's, all these people. I'm not personally ready, as someone who's investing into the genre, for them to take a bow and pass the torch on to the... Well, you need to let that shit go, my nigga. Don't people come and go? Rappers come and go, too. They need to let the young niggas come up, bro. Let all the young new niggas come up. Stop being on that back in my day shit, my boy. Next set of industry leaders, okay. because I feel like the rap game would be on life support, bro. If, if, we, if you would remove all those names I just mentioned, and of, of course a couple of others that I didn't mention, but if you remove those legends and those established acts, what are, we, what are we really left with in terms of the mainstream? The problem is that you need people to come in and occupy that space at the right. top of the industry to eliminate the reliance we've built on these legends. After all, Nas like scooped said, up his bro. first Grammy in 2021 and still raps at an elite level as he slowly teeters past the age of 50. Similarly, Eminem said that he wouldn't be releasing any music after the age of 50 way back in the year 2010. However, he's still going really strong today, which he claims is due to the love of the art and not knowing what else he should be doing after rapping. But I'm still trying to figure shit out. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as I've been in the game, I'm always trying to figure out new flow patterns and new, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like new cadences and stuff. Yeah, Eminem is a true rap legend, get it right, you know? Even Andre 3000 know about is caught up. Andre 3000, this shit throwing me off, bro. Get you a haircut, my guy. I know you got a couple thousand, bro. Get you a cut, bro. I got a barber. He charged 20, man this idea. Despite his know, recent bro. comments that I discussed earlier in this bad. video, he said that he would love the ultimate challenge of making a rap album at 48. Again, we find ourselves asking the question, Whoa. where do we go from here? This issue has ironically surfaced like at the time of hip hop's middle age milestone of 50 years. This feat exceeded expectations on its own as rap's lifespan was supposed to be cut short a long time ago. Because hip hop was something that wasn't supposed to be here for this long. I'm mm -hmm. sure you know, Big. Yes, sir. And the more we do that, the more they try to tear it down. Now a serious multi-million dollar business, rather than a trend meant to fade out of the mainstream, the infancy of hip hop has always suggested that it's a field of creativity and development. But with Cole, Kendrick, and Drake still on top, that process has slowed to a halt without modern motivations to keep the fire burning bright. And what makes it worse wow. is that when there's a potentially game-changing artist that enters the scene, like Juice World, XXX Tentacion, or Pop Smoke, they sadly pass away for unforeseen circumstances. For crazy. fans, it really does feel like the next big name. Yeah, that is. Sadly that is. That is kind of crazy, bro. Like Juice was good, X was good. That would have been a nice next big three. Or are they like targeting the younger generation? And getting them out here so the old generations be here for years. But they got to stop doing that, though, if they are doing that shit. Because if they, if they keep doing that shit, they're going to lose fucking money, bro. Get the fuck out of here with Drake, man. Way Let the before they can reach their potential and contribute to this vacuum we're in right now. On top of the tragic loss of these high potential candidates, the game is experiencing a drought of star-making periods like the trap or mumble rap boom. Instead, new artists are building fan bases at a gradual rate and trying to make themselves heard amongst the loads of competition. Okay. I sign up. All right, y'all boys. That boys like, comment, and subscribe, man. 
if you got this far into the video i really appreciate you comment down below for me and you also hit the like button and yeah i'm gonna see y'all in the next reaction video all right